glad to come back to you again to still continue to discuss a very, very important subject which you have been building. This is the five things, the fifth aspect of how we recover after the storm and the kind of tools that we should use as revealed in the Holy Scriptures in our journey of recovery. And uh, we, we have spoken about the fact that we need to stand up, on the, stand, make a firm start on the promises of God. We, 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 we discussed about the call to prayer without ceasing. We've discussed about how we need to affirm our faith by an attitude of gratitude and praise. We have discussed about how we can keep coming back and giving it every effort without giving up. And then we need to know what it is to believe in miracles. Uh, you know, there are people who don't understand and sometimes there are those who think miracles are not a reality. But God still works miracles. And you can depend on God. You can trust in God. You can look to the God who works wonders and miracles. It's sad that there are people who have never, never acknowledged that even the reason of being and the reason of life the way we live is an act of God, the grace that keeps us every day. Therefore today, as we continue to contemplate and think about the journey we find ourselves in in life, is a journey that will require the supernatural. I feel sorry for people who think that the reason that they have succeeded in life has only taken their effort. But I know the word of God tells us in the book of John that without God, we can do nothing. Therefore, today, I encourage you to embrace the miracle working power of God. Sometimes we hope for a miracle and it doesn't happen. But sometimes we hope for a miracle and it does. I risk, and of course, the key thing is that when you are a man and a woman that depends on God for the miraculous, you keep on waiting and you keep on hoping and you keep on confessing. Like we said about the story of, of Noah. Noah is a great example. I want you to see, to, uh, to believe that God will see you through. His hope and presence will never leave you, will never leave me. Now, it's important to realize that we won't be where we started when the storm ends. It is important to know that every storm, when we take, we leverage an advantage for a storm, it will leave us in a better place than where it started. And it's amazing to know that even with the experience we have gone through, even with COVID-19 and many circumstances that happened, those who have stayed firm in holding firm to the promise of God, they can tell you, God has remembered them. God has seen them through. Father, I thank you for the things you have shared to encourage the people today. We ask for your presence and grace to become the portion of all those who have relied and waited on you, even through the storms of life. We know by your word, by your miracle, we are rising, we are mounting up in Jesus' name. Amen.